this is a very recent game I played with the black pieces. It was a blitz game, so let's see what happened here. e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, bishop g5. Nothing special so far. I played e6, f4, and uh, here I think there are several moves that black can play. One is queen b6, that's probably the most common move. Which could lead to the poison pawn variation, which is uh, of the queen d2, and black takes the pawn on b2, and so on, and so on. Uh, but that didn't happen, so I played instead of that, I played queen c7. And the idea with queen c7 is that, and especially after my opponent had played bishop g5. Now, why do you play bishop g5 if you don't want to mess up black's pawn structure or something? Well, you could argue that, well, because... The knight was pinned, that's true, but of the queen c7, I, sh I clearly show my opponent that I don't care about that pin. So he played, uh, instead of just taking here, which I absolutely didn't mind, I'm not saying that it's a, something great for black, but I'm just saying that I don't mind uh, the double pawns. So he played queen e2, preparing a long castle, but also at some point he wants to play e5. And this was a little bit difficult I think even though like I said it was a blitz game I couldn't really s decide if I wanted to put my other knight on d7 or c6 but in the end I decided to play knight to c6 I had the little worry I did have was that for example if knight takes queen takes and then e5 or perhaps castles first and then e5 I can only take once and then when he takes back this knight on f6 has to move somewhere anyway so I suppose that's the only downside to this uh, uh, setup, but he casts along. I played h6. I'm not even sure if we were still opening there. No, it turns out the knight takes d4 is the, the main move. But I played uh, h6, just asking why, where he wants to put this bishop because it's been standing there for a long time, just well attacking my knight for no reason. So he played bishop h4. Um, and here I played bishop d7 because in case he takes, I can always take back with the bishop and just leaving room for this knight to retreat to d7 or something. Okay, and, uh, and also maybe or maybe not, I'm preparing to castle along. So I'm not uh, showing my hand, so to speak, to my opponent. So he, my, my opponent doesn't really know where to attack. It started with this stuff happening in the center because he thought that maybe I was going to go kingside. But now with the bishop d7, it's not quite clear what I'm going to do. Maybe I will castle queen side, maybe I will castle stay in the center perhaps, or play bishop e7 and castle short. He just doesn't know. And sometimes, and especially in the Sicilian, some Sicilian lines, that can be a good idea. You don't, because I play many games where my king just stayed in the center the whole game, more or less. It's not recommended, but it, it simply depends on how many pieces come off and what the position looks like. So he played h3, preparing perhaps to, um, although I suppose he could have played g4 immediately. But he played h3, maybe he wants to, I don't know, launch some kind of pawn storm. And here I played bishop e7, so now I'm giving him some kind of hint that maybe I will castle uh, king side after all. But I think it could be dangerous to do that, because now that he has these pawns coming at my king, I think it would be a pretty bad idea. So believe it or not, I think the black king can either stay in the center here or go queen side. I, th I believe the center is even more uh, solid actually. Okay, so he played uh, bishop f2 because, well, since I put, I put my bishop on e7, maybe there were some kind of discoveries or who knows. And also he has, if I ever go queen side, the bishop is more effective on this diagonal over here. And here I played b5, and for a flash a second or so I was thinking mm, maybe there's a sacrifice on this pawn, but then I will probably just play queen b8, and uh, if it takes back with the other knight, that is, I would just play queen b8, and this pawn on d6 is just well defended, so it wouldn't give him any, anything. And here we did play g4. So I responded with an attack myself. I played b4, and here again I was just looking at something like you know, knight to d5, and uh, after pawn takes d5, 
and this other and then takes uh, e takes d5 this knight has to go somewhere i don't know maybe i would just well i would probably just take the take the other knight or, or something else i don't know and uh, that's a very common attack in in many sicilian lines where black plays b4 and white just plays knight d5 but i'm not I haven't analyzed this game, and uh, I don't know. I don't think it will work. Maybe it will ma make Black's life a little bit complicated for a while, but nothing serious, I think. So he played knight b1, which is actually more or less the only move. He does have a knight to a4, but then I can just take this knight and have a discovered attack. Or maybe he could even respond with knight b6, but on the other hand, if the knight takes d4, I'm also attacking his queen on e2. So he played knight b1, not a very attractive place. And here I play d5, and my idea was that if he plays e5, I can play knight to e4. So he played e5, I play knight to e4, attacking his bishop on f2. And here he blundered with uh, bishop e3, and I play knight g3, just forking his queen and, and the rook on h1. So he played queen f3, I took the rook, he took back, and now rook c8. Indirect, indirectly attacking this pawn on c2, the only piece of protecting that pawn, uh, yeah, okay, pawn right now is denied on d4. So he played c3, again, not a very attractive move, and here I think I was a little bit impatient. Uh, obviously, there was no reason to play knight takes d4, I can just leave the tension there. And also, these guys aren't really accomplishing anything, I think. He can't play f5 because then there's a pawn hanging on e5. If he plays g5, I can even play h4. I can even take it. I don't know. It's hard to say. But I, I took the knight. Uh, I suppose my reasoning was something like I can just open things up um, on on his king, against his king. So he played a bishop takes d4. I played bishop c5. Okay, he took a pawn. I play rook a8 immediately winning back the pawn on a2. So he played bishop d3, rook takes a2, bishop c2. Again, it's very tempting to take the pawn on c3, uh, which I actually did. Uh, I think he should have played knight takes over here, but he played uh, bishop takes. And here I played uh, bishop c6 with the idea to play d4, winning piece so we play queen f1 i play rook a1 just keeping this knight i think the knight could potentially become a little bit dangerous here although maybe not okay he played f5 i play bishop e3 check he played bishop d2 i took he took back and i won the pawn obviously black is completely winning in this game there's no question about it f takes e6 you know, when you play blitz games, it's very easy to make stuff, stupid things like queen takes e6, and then after rook e2, black loses his queen. So I took back with the pawn. He play rook e2, I play queen g5 check, king d1, uh, bishop d7, queen f3, rook f8, queen b3, rook f1 check. I couldn't really see, I, I think we were down to seconds here anyway, so... Uh, okay, he took, he played rook e1, I took the rook, he took it back, and here I suppose I could have played something like queen c1 check, but I didn't see it, so I just played queen e5, king d1, king f7, queen f3 check, and after queen f6, he, he ran out of time, but I don't think he had um, a chance anyway. So he, he, yeah, he lost some time. Always, I have a rook against... Uh, a rook and a bishop against a bishop and a knight, and two pawns, so... Okay, well, he does have a pawn here on v2. But this is completely lost for white. Anyway, I thought that it was um, kind of interesting anyway. Uh, as for the opening... Well, queen c7 is well known, nothing special about that, but I think queen b6 is the main move here. Uh, one can also play uh, this other knight to d7, which is very common. I can play h6. There are many moves here. But I'll, I think queen c7 just asks white, what's that bishop doing on g5? 
Um, but I think he did the right thing, just keeping it there. Uh, there's no rush to take it because obviously, if Black plays Queen C7 in a situation like this, it clearly shows that he doesn't care about the double pawns. And after Queen E2, which is also a good move, I think. Um, knight to C6, and this was a little bit difficult for me to decide. I think objectively, Knight D7, Knight B D7 is better than Knight to C6. Simply for, because of the reason that white can al always play knight, uh, e5 at some point. Obviously, knight to c6 is uh, also open in theory, which is actually, it turns out, at least in my book, that it's the second most common move. Because sometimes this knight on uh, d4 can be very annoying, and if you, don't, if you don't have any means to trade it off, then it could become very annoying. And that's also very typical in Sicilian that this pawn on e6 is under attack. And uh, I think we went out of book after. Let's see here. Yeah, I played h h6, and the main move was actually knight takes d4. But anyway, so I stepped out of book after h6.